Follow Me Ansem. So today we're doing another What More Can I Do video. As we start the majority of these, get your wings roasting off nice and early. So today we are doing a personal favourite, um, something that I think has grown in popularity massively over the last 10 years. And that is a ramen. So we are doing a ramen recipe using chicken wing meat. So really simple recipe, this really easy. Of course, start, get some ground oil I've done here. I uh, tend to be often used in Asian cooking. Um, so I've used that. Salt and pepper your wings. Get them roasting nice and early. We want these crispy, we want these juicy, we want them falling off of the bone. Then we're going to be start looking at the other elements to this. Now, as a pre-warning, and you will see it later on in the video, the camera ran out of battery right at the end as I was dishing up. So there's a bit of an extra bit on my phone. So we've just gone with here some garlic and mushroom with some granite oil. Get that frying off. We've got our noodle shells. You can buy these in any supermarket. Get them just boiling away. They don't take very long at all. And of course, you want some eggs. So get those eggs on the go. I do them for about seven to eight minutes. Then get them in cold water. Get some so they are not soft soft but then just enough to make it comfortable so we've cooked the noodles now we're going to go in with the stock so i've just used a stock pot really simple quite lazy easy version of doing it you can make your own if you want by you know boiling down those chicken bones but i've just gone for the stock Get a good amount of soy sauce in there. Get some Shaoxing rice wine. Good glug of that in there. I say a good glug of that. You don't need a lot of this really. It's quite strong stuff. But it adds that lovely sweetness. And of course get some hot water in there as well. Get that on the go. Simmering, cooking nicely. So now we have our chicken wing meat here. And we're just going to go in with some sesame seed oil. To give it that really nutty, lovely flavour. Which you get in a lot of Asian cooking. Um, for me, this is high tier oil. I tend to find sesame oil. I think as a big fan of Asian cooking, it's absolutely delicious stuff. But then we're going to add a couple extra little bits to it. So we're going to go in with our sesame seeds. Because we've got the sesame oil, why not go in with the seeds? And one of my old favourites, those black onion seeds as well. We're going to get them in there. So now we're going to start to plate up and this is where the warning happens. So we've got some more of our black onion seeds, which are going to dust them on top. We've got our cooked noodles in the pot. Next, super important, is that lovely stock. So this has been simmering for a good 10, 15 minutes. Doesn't take very long. A lot of the flavors are already there. We're just infusing what we have. Some of the juices that came out of that chicken wing as well that were left in the bottom of the tray. I put them in there as well just to get that extra chickeny flavour. As you can see, it almost looks like the fat is floating on there. That's from the chicken wings. So I think I just about had enough of this here. And it's in a second when we put the mushrooms in, you will notice the camera dies and I have to switch to phone. But I run through what it all looks like. So now the noodles are in, give that just a little mix around just to loosen the noodles up because as they cool, they do go a little bit solid. This just reinvigorates them, pumps all that flavour back into it as well. Now, I go in with our garlicky mushrooms. Now, the beauty of a ramen is you can literally add whatever you want on there. Um, you know, any meats at all, chicken, obviously pork's a popular one. You can go beef, anything. You can add any toppings you want as well. But we've just got mushrooms. And it's around about here the camera dies. So... We move to the phone, and this is what the ramen looked like in the end. So I was really happy with it. So we have our eggs, spring onion, pickled onions as well, because I think that adds a really nice sweetness to it. Chicken wing, mushrooms. I think that's a really nice looking dish. Tough for watching. Take care.